In Wauwatosa today, the mayor met with city officials and police to talk about protection for the suspended police officer Joseph Mensa. Over the weekend, law enforcement says shots were fired at a protest outside a house owned by Mensa's girlfriend and that Mensa was insulted there. Lauren Linder has the latest on this. Steve Wauwatosa, police and protesters remain tight lipped about what exactly happened here in the backyard of Joseph Mensa of a home owned by Joseph Mensa's girlfriend. But here's what we do know. This was the scene Saturday night in front of the house. Cell phone video captures protesters throwing toilet paper in trees. Police say about 60 people surrounded the property and vandalized it. They say as Mensa tried to talk with the crowd, he was physically assaulted and that someone in the crowd fired a shot at the back door. Mensa told me off camera Sunday he believes people in the group were trying to kill him. This morning, investigators returned to the scene to collect any other evidence they could as workers fixed the back door, which had a broken window. Also this morning, Mayor Dennis McBride met with other city officials and say steps are being taken to keep Mensa and the city safe. President of the Wauwatosa Peace Officers Association, John Malotsky, calls this weekend's incident disgusting and is pushing to get federal officers involved in the investigation. This was not a protest. This was a violent criminal act directed at, towards a police officer. Now, Rep State Representative David Bowen tells us that he was at the protest here outside the home of Officer Mensa's girlfriend. He released a statement that says in part, the victim narrative put forth by Mensa and now the Wabatosa Police Department is totally inaccurate, irresponsible and false. In my time at the protest in front of Mensa's home, I personally felt threatened by his actions. Now, Bowen went on to say that nobody tried to kill Officer Mensa as Mensa had has claimed and that no protester shot at the back door. He says that Bowen Bowen claims that Mensa pulled the trigger on a protester's firearm, resulting in the shot being fired. Now, this is all developing at this time, but we hope to have some more on this as the details become available. For now, reporting live in Wauwatosa, Lauren Linder, TMJ4 News.